Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Blizzard just dropped the patch notes for patch 27.0, that is the Titans expansion pre-release patch. And this, this is pretty big news, because Titans cards are not going to be available first in Constructed, they're going to be available first in Arena. Well, but let's take a look at all of the patch notes. Patch 27.0 launching tomorrow. Yep, they're coming tomorrow, on Tuesday. Prepares the way for Titans to come to Hearthstone on August 1st. The patch also includes updates to Battlegrounds, Duels, Arena and more. Titans are making their way to Hearthstone. Hearthstone's next expansion, Titans, is awakening in Hearthstone on August 1st. The new 145 card expansion includes the new Titan and Forge keywords, Legendary Keepers, the returning Magnetic keyword and more. And then, blah blah, you can buy... Yes, remember, you can buy the pre-purchase only until Titans is live. Blizzard once made it so that you could buy the pre-purchase also a little bit after the expansion had been released. They were not happy with those sales figures. They want you to be a little bit more afraid and want you to buy that before. But I mean, the pre-purchase bundles, they are a pretty decent deal overall. If you want to spend money on Hearthstone, yeah, then you can consider buying those. It's not like they would be a terrible deal by Hearthstone standards anyway. It's just that they want to maintain some of that sense of urgency for you to buy them. So be conscious of your decisions, but overall they're not a bad deal if you want to spend money on Hearthstone. Then there's a new in-game event coming. Ulduar Grand Championship, starting on August 3rd, buy for the favor of the Titans in a special in-game event celebrating the launch of Titans. From August 3rd to August 22nd, complete event quest to earn event XP. Complete the reward truck to earn a total of 6 packs, 2 standard packs, 1 golden standard pack. That's a pretty big deal actually, golden packs are quite expensive. 1 Festival Legends pack and 2 Titans packs and the Death Knight Hero skin. Then some new corset cards, and these corset cards will be available tomorrow with the patch. So the corset is already changing, Paladin is already getting some new cards. Two new cards being added to Paladin's corset, patch 27.0, Crusader Aura, whenever a friendly minion attacks, give it plus two plus one, last three turns, and resistance aura your opponent's spells cost one more last three turns, so suitable for very aggressive Paladin decks. And potentially, you could already play with these before the Titans expansion, so you could try to do some new Paladin stuff already tomorrow. Furthermore, tomorrow will be the start of a new dual season and a new arena season. On July 25th, the current dual season will end, ratings will be reset and current runs will be concluded. So, if you want to have a run open, so you can get your rewards, this would be a good time to have that. For duels and also for arena and then for arena. On July 25th, that's tomorrow, on Tuesday, with patch 27.0, all current arena runs will end, and a new arena season will begin. The eligible sets will rotate so that the following sets will make up the arena card pool. Core, Savers of Uldum, Ashes of Outland, Madness of the Dark Moon Fair, March of the Lich King, Path of Arthas, Festival of Legends and Titans. Enter the arena to play the new Titans cards before the expansion launches. So, there's a couple of new corset cards for Paladin that you can play when constructed, and there's a lot of Titans cards available in Arena. However, there is one caveat to playing Arena now to be able to play with Titans cards, and that is that this blog post does not tell you what is going to be the Arena rewards table. Because typically, the card packs you get are from the latest released expansion, so that would be Festival of Legends. So you might not be able to get any Titans packs as rewards from Arena yet. We don't know about that until tomorrow, I think, unless some developer clarifies that on Twitter, but that is something to keep in mind. And finally, the Twist beta is coming to an end. The current Twist beta is coming to an end at the end of the season, at the end of the day on July 31st. After the beta ends, Twist will be temporarily unavailable. Twist is scheduled to formally launch on September 1st, so they want to give one month for the new constructed format and then Twist is coming back with a new format and a fun surprise. Stay tuned for more details closer to launch. So we don't know yet what kind of game Twist is going to be next, but we'll see. Twist is interesting. The first season, the beta season, wasn't that big of a success. Twist didn't really find a player base, but there's still potential in it. So we'll see what happens when Blizzard brings it back in September. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.